we will now have a look at our next theorem the theorem states when two triangles are similar the ratio of their areas is equal to the ratio of the squares of their corresponding sides so let us consider two similar triangles as we need to take the ratio of the areas of these two triangles we have to construct their heights as well okay so it is given that the triangles are similar and we know their heights as well we need to prove that the ratio of their areas is equal to the ratio of the squares of the corresponding sides that is ab square upon pq square or bc square upon qr square or ac square upon pr square we just need to prove any one of these side the other two will follow because the ratio of the similar triangles is already seen so let's start with the proof now we have already seen that the ratio of the areas of two triangles depends upon their base and height so area of triangle abc upon area of triangle pqr will be equal to bc into ad that is the base and the height of the first triangle divided by qr into ps we'll name this as equation 1 now if we consider the two triangles that is abd and pqs these are right angle triangles on the left hand side of both the larger triangles okay so we will see the similarity in both these triangles we can see angle b and angle q are already equal because they are the angles of the similar triangles so we can see that it is given and we know that angle adb and angle psq are 90 degrees so both these angles are equal and hence both the triangles that is abd and pqs are similar to each other by aa test now we know once the triangles are similar the ratio of their sides is same so we can say ad upon ps is equal to ab upon pq now as we know that the original triangles the larger triangles that is abc and pqr are already similar so even their ratio will be same ab upon pq will be equal to bc upon qr now let us have a look at our first statement again it was area of triangle abc upon area of triangle pqr is equal to bc upon qr into ad upon ps okay our bc upon qr remains same and if you have a look at equation 2 and equation 3 both the ratios contain the same term that is ab upon pq so from 2 and 3 i can say ad upon ps should be equal to bc upon qr so replacing ad upon ps with bc upon qr i'll get this now if you multiply both the ratios bc into bc will give you bc square and qr into qr will give you qr square so we have proved that the ratio of the triangles is equal to the square of the ratios of their corresponding sides and as we have proved it for one side we can prove it for the other sides as well